whenever you're ready. So we just read this off? Yep. And if you go look at the camera, look at this middle camera. The one that we're reading? Yeah. All right. All right just look camera. at what we're reading. All right, you ready? Fight to the valley. I'm Ben. Oh, I was ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ben. <laughs> Read it. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm Colin. And I'm Juan. I'm Arjun. And I'm Zari. I'm Tegan Lockett. And I'm Trevor Andrews. I'm Abby. And I'm Belle. I'm Malia. And I'm Mallory. I'm JB. I'm Jaden. I'm Cameron. And I'm Angel. I'm Luke. I'm Austin. I'm Brooklyn Slosher. And I'm Alia Gassaway. I'm Ben. I'm Landon. I'm Les. I'm Pip. Uh... I'm Emily. And I'm Kelsey. I'm Carly Sparks. And I'm Destiny Trevino. And this is the Almost There podcast. Welcome back to episode two of the Almost There podcast. Almost There will feature several CHS seniors as they discuss the trial and tribulations of our senior year of high school. We survived the first week of school. How do you feel like it went? I feel like it went pretty good. I didn't really do anything because we didn't have to do anything. Not really. Yeah, it was kind of awkward more than anything mm -hmm. seeing everybody again we survived the first week of school how do you feel like it went it was not good <laughs> what what was not good about it though it's the first week of school <laughs> it, the first week of school always feels like the first it feels like a year mm -hmm. like it wasn't bad hearsay it was just long well, it wasn't good either <laughs> I feel like it went pretty good and smooth, but I mean, we didn't really do nothing in most of the classes because most of our classes are colleges classes and they don't start till the 16th. So I think it pr went pretty smooth. How do you think it went? Um, I think it went pretty good. Um, we got out for like a day. We got a half a day on Wednesday and a lot of our practices got canceled. And then after that, a lot of people got sick with the stomach virus, so a lot more practices were canceled. Yeah. But honestly, I feel like it went good. We don't really have we don't have to show up to school until like 8:41, which is like an extra sleep, which feels yeah. good. And yeah. How do you feel like it went? It went by it went, it went by slow because we didn't really do anything the whole time. We were just getting to know each other and where we were going. Yeah. So it was pretty boring. How do you think it went, JB? Uh, I mean, it went all right. It wasn't like, it wasn't the best week of school because, you know, first week of school is always terrible. But, I mean, I guess it's kind of nice to see all the teachers again, just kind of connecting with my friends again. So, yeah. Uh, to me, slow. It went really yeah, slow. It did go pretty slow. It went slow, boring. Football practice was hot? Hot, extremely hot. I, I miss basketball. We got out that one day, Wednesday, because it was raining or whatever. Mm -hmm. That was nice. Outdoor? That was nice. Also, it was really nice. I like that. Yeah. How'd it go for you? I mean, slow. Slow. Football practice was hot. We made it though. We made it through. We made it. Week. We made it. That's what matters. We made it. All right. Lots of people got sick this week. Did you? Yes. I also got sick. It felt like I had strep throat. I think a lot of people had strep throat, and I think a lot of us high schoolers drink after each other. <laughs> That's I did not have strep throat. What did you have? I have no idea. I went to the doctor. I was running a fever of 102.8. That's a high They fever. tested me for strep throat. Oh, no, ma'am. You know, um, he's already be taking that vitamin A, B, C, D. Uh, and um, she's staying away from you nasty, snide-nosed kids. So, uh, yeah, did you? No. I'm going to have a Lysol in my backpack just like this. <laughs> did you? Did you get sick, Landon? I sure did get sick. Okay. Got sick that Wednesday. Oh, I got sick this morning, like I didn't feel right, but you know, I'm here. I, mean, I didn't feel good yesterday, that's why I wasn't here. But I'm yeah, here today. I'm sitting at your house, I called you about three times, still mm -hmm. didn't answer. I was gone. I, I, I wasn't up. I, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't there. <laughs> uh, lots of people got sick this week. Did you get sick? Um, nah. <laughs> I'm still sick. <laughs> uh, 
that was one of the lucky few that did not get sick. Thank right. the you got Jesus. Lucky. Lots of people got sick this week. Did you? Um, just mild. Not really anything major. What about you? Uh, I got a case of the sniffles, but other than that, I'm pretty okay. <laughs> Lots of people got sick this week. Did you? I definitely got sick. Uh, this last Friday, I, uh, I got a strep throat, and I felt like I felt like I was gonna die. Cause I had to check out Friday, and when I checked out Friday, I got home, and I thought I was dead. It was bad. I didn't feel good at all. Did you get sick? I did not. Only thing I got was a little bit of sinuses, and that was it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So. I know we had like Ben and Trevor and like JB, and all of them got sick. Uh, how you, how you feeling? You feel? I mean, I'm, I'm good. You chill? Football, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, all right. Like you didn't get sick, did you? Mm -hm. Nah, me neither, man. We had our club fair last week. Did you join any club? And what's your favorite club? Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, but I plan on it. You plan on it? I plan on joining a bunch of clubs because it's my senior year. Mm -hmm. but I don't know what my favorite club is because I haven't really been in no clubs besides FFA, so I guess FFA. What about you? Well, I, I joined about everything. I mean, it's my senior year, why not? And favorite club, I mean, I don't really got a favorite, but I guess I'd say FFA or science club, one of them. Yeah. My science club is free. It's free. I mean, if you're in a science club, you better get in a science club now, all right? But I think my favorite club out of all of these would have to be, right now I'm feeling broadcasting club. Real bad. But yeah, what's your favorite club? Of course, Broadcasting Club. Like, look at us. <laughs> we, we're the stars. And um, what cl uh, clubs did you join? Whew, okay, let's go down the line. I mean, um, uh, I haven't really joined any clubs, but I'm interested in a lot like Broadcasting, Leo, FBLA, Art, 4 H, Science. All, all those, you know, because they add up. Me too. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had our club fair last week. Did you join any clubs? And what's your favorite club? Well, about that, I checked out that day. <laughs> I got, I was sick Friday, and um, no, I'm FFA Broadcasting Club and Science Club. What about you? Uh, I'm officer in FFA, Leo, and Broadcasting, so I'm obviously in those three, but. I'll probably do science club this year and drama club as well. <laughs> we had our club fair last week. Did you join any new clubs? Um, I joined broadcasting club this year, which I feel like is going to be so much fun. We had our club fair last week. Did you join any clubs? I joined the broadcasting club and FFA club. What's your favorite club? I'd say broadcasting. Yeah. You know, it's been my first year joining it, and I'll see how it goes and see if I have fun. What, what club did you join, JB? I'm already in clubs, okay. Look, broadcasting club? Miss Owen signed me up for this. I'm not even supposed to be here right now. She signed me up for it, so I'm here. And I, I, I like it. Thank you, Miss Owen. Uh, FFA, I'm already in FFA. I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm an officer. What about... Uh, What's your favorite club? Favorite club? FFA. <laughs> My favorite club would be Drama Club because we have so many great plays and musicals and I really enjoy doing that stuff and acting. What about you? Um, yes, I joined a lot of clubs <laughs> and it's a very hefty expense too. Um, I joined Science Club, FBLA, Drama Club, Art Club, Book Club, and I, th I think that's it. <laughs> Uh, my favorite club is going to be Science Club because we just, I'm really interested in science and we go on a lot of fun trips. I joined like, like four clubs I think, but I'm pretty sure the art, art club is going to be my favorite because we get to make a bunch of like sculptures and stuff out of clay, so. I wasn't there that day. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Um, we had our club fair last week. Uh, did you join any clubs? And what was your favorite club? I was actually not here Friday, <laughs> but for sure, Broadcasting Club's my favorite. <laughs> what about you? Um, I did. I joined Broadcasting Club and Leo Club. Uh, I joined Broadcasting Club this year, uh, my first year. I liked the recording and stuff, so I wanted to be a part of that, and obviously I'm an FFA, so. What's your favorite class so far and why? My favorite class is 
Coach Russian's class because he just sits there and we listen to him. He has a lot of stories to tell us. <laughs> What's your favorite class? Um, I like Mr. Bill's class. Uh, I like all the eighth graders having all these weird answers when he asks about agriculture and stuff, so it's really fun. What's your favorite class so far and why? All of Miss Owens. Yeah. Forensics. Yeah, mine too. Mm hmm. What's yours? I was still thinking. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to say third period. What's your third? Um, I got Miss Owens' class and I have virtual PE. <laughs> <laughs> they making up classes now, just letting y'all know. Um, mine is kind of, I'm leaning more towards our sixth and seventh, the nursing class, because like, like I really, I'm really am excited to be starting doing my nursing stuff, cause you know, I'm not gonna be looking forward to changing old people's diapers, but like I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready. And Miss Owens, cause you know, it's easy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's your favorite class so far? Um, I'd say Miss Pickens' class right now because oh, we haven't done nothing yet. But when classes do start, I feel like it's gonna be fun because she's a fun teacher, and she teaches really well. Um, honestly, I feel like saying either her class or maybe Miss Waldman's class because it's yearbook, and I feel like I'll have a lot of fun walking around and like taking pictures of everybody and capturing a lot of memories. Um, and in Miss Pickens' class, she's really funny, and we don't have a lot of people in our class this year, so no. I think it'll be, it'll be more fun than it was last year. Yeah. Um, uh, what's your favorite class so far? I'd say... Definitely not my <laughs> I, I wouldn't say what my best one is so far yet, because... I don't really like any of my teachers, for real. <laughs> <laughs> honest. You don't like Miss Owens? I don't mean, like Miss Owens. We, uh, haven't, we haven't done anything yet. I am. We haven't got our Chromebooks, so. Oh. Uh, we can but say that we haven't done nothing, Austin. Like Mr. Bill. You didn't think it. Mr. Bill. We did something today. All we did was cut. Mm. We did something, though. We but The last couple times we've been sitting there mm. doing nothing. So. What's your favorite uh, class so far, JB? And Mr. Mr. Bill's class, More, most definitely. You don't do anything. And I like I like fourth period a lot too, cause I get to come in here and film sometimes, or I get to produce sometimes. Uh, but Mr. Bill's class is favorite. Love Mr. Bill. What's your favorite class so far, and why? Um, my favorite class so far would be band, because that's what we've been doing all summer, and we're getting ready for our big show and I'm just ready for it to be on the field already. <laughs> what about you? Um, my favorite class is also band, but specifically fourth period band, because <laughs> we get to be student aides and teach the beginners how to play their instruments and uh, get, them, get them in the cult, <laughs> to say. <laughs> What's your favorite class so far and why? My favorite class would probably be I like Miss Stratton's English class this year because we're doing British literature. It's kind of fun. I wouldn't say mine's Miss Stratton's now. Mine's probably going to seventh period with Miss Newton and helping her clean out the cheer room and painting the signs. That sounds kind of fun. And so uh, right now, what is your favorite class? So far, my favorite class is Probably gonna say, to be honest, math. Really? Yes, I like we're learning about checks and stuff. Yeah, I remember. I remember last year, like you was killing it, Miss Finley. It's me, like if right now, probably strength and conditioning, like you know, the seventh period PE or Miss Owens. I mean, it's pretty chill. You well, know? I didn't know if he counted. I mean, it's a class, so I would assume it counts. What's your favorite class so far, and why? Favorite class so far. You know, Jim? I mean, yeah, I'm, I, that's probably everyone's favorite. Yeah. What about not Jim? You know? Like subject, like uh, core classes? Mm hmm. Uh, probably Coach Russian. I was going to say the same <laughs> thing. This is the easiest class, fun. I love you, Coach Russian.
senior year comes with lots of pressures. How do you deal with the pressure to try and figure out what you want to be for the rest of your life right now? Mm. I like School the reasons, I just sleep. <laughs> Other purposes, can't talk. What about you? Uh, I feel like I kind of like kind of know what I want to do, and it kind of helps. I've gotten accepted into the college that I want to go to and everything, so it helps a lot with kind of having it mapped out and everything. It's just just kind of sitting down and talking with my parents and just trying to like iron out all the small details is just a little stressful. What but. college are you going to? Mississippi State. Uh, go Bulldogs. Senior year comes with lots of pressures. How do you deal with the pressure to try and figure out what you want to be for the rest of your life right now? Um, I'm not really sure right now, but I like to delve into hobbies that I have like drawing and listening to music and overall general stuff like um, my activities like band and drama club, they help me de-stress and relax when I'm feeling very uptight. What about you? Um, so I've basically known what I wanted to be since I was like eight years old. <laughs> I always kind of wanted to be in the medical field. So my life is pre-planned. No stress for me at all. Definitely. Me personally, I'm, when I'm trying to think about what I want to do for the rest of my life, it kind of makes me sick because there's, I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't like not knowing what's going to happen. But I'm not as worried about it now because I'm working harder to present myself with more opportunities so that when the time comes where I have to make a choice, I'll have all these opportunities laid out before me so I don't have to yeah. fight through the entire senior year for it. There was a recruiter here last year that came by. And I talked to him for a little bit. I talked to him at Northwest Shoals too. And he kind of recruited me, so I'm doing National Guard now. I've been doing it for a little bit. I go to training this Saturday, come back Sunday. I get paid for it, which is good. But after I get out of boot, boot camp and stuff like that, I'm, my job is it's 91 Bravo, which means that I'm going to be a mechanic, which is pretty fun. I'll get paid. Honestly, I'm taking it day by day right now. I'm kind of struggling. Like, I feel like I'm going to be struggling a lot more as the year progresses. Right now, I'm taking it day by day, and we're just going to go with it. Same. Honestly, <laughs> I'm taking it day by day, but I'm a little bit stressed about what college I want to go to. I want to major in nursing. A lot of my family members were nurses or, like, EMTs and stuff, so I kind of want to follow in their footsteps. But... I know nursing is stressful and a lot of studying, and I'm kind of stressing out about that, but... Yeah, I don't even know what I want to do yet, like, honestly. <laughs> How do you deal with the pressure to try and figure out what you want to be for the rest of your life right now? Um, it's not as much pressure as I thought it would be because I'm already committed at the moment, but it still is trying to do my best and keep my grades up because they can take that offer away from me. Yeah, I'm also committed to, but... I feel like it's not set in stone right now, so like anything could change from now to November before we sign. Oh yeah. And I still don't know what I want to be yet, but this is just kind of a positive step in that direction. I'm just going with the flow. Senior <laughs> year comes with lots of pressure. How do you deal with the pressure to try and figure out what you want to be for the rest of your life right now? Well, I already know what I want to be. I want to be a welder, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on and that's how I'm going to treat my senior year and hopefully I have a good senior year. What about you, JB? 100% agree with you, Graydon. I'm going to, once I graduate, I'm working. I'm retired, maybe, maybe around 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'll retire, you know. I'm, I'm going to be up there, though, for sure. What's something personal, personal about you that not everyone knows about? Um, I can speak Korean. Um, <laughs> Please let I me hear it. I listen to K-pop sometimes. Please let me hear it. Ayo na te yo. Just say it. One second. Hold up, I forget what else I know. That nobody know about me. I talk to the TV when I'm by myself. I can believe <laughs> that. I can believe that. I think that's it. Oh, and I watch Arthur every night. She sure does. I mean, if you were my really my real friend, you wouldn't know that. 
that one little <laughs> that one little summer night. Oh. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> What's something personal about you that not everyone knows about? I don't... A lot of people don't know that I, like, love art. Like, I, like, paint a lot, and when I tell people that, they just give me, like, a weird look because, I don't know, I guess I just don't give off that vibe or whatever. I don't know. So what about you? You do like art. <laughs> I do love art. Um, something personal. I don't really know anything. I like to talk to people, and I think everybody pretty much knows that, but I like having conversations with people and, like, figuring out more about them, and I don't know, that's kind of weird. Like meeting new people? Yeah. I love meeting and new people. And I think people. FFA has played a big part in that as well, because when we go to these conventions and stuff, I normally would never go up to a stranger and, like, have a conversation with them, but now I can go up to anybody and just <laughs> start talking to them. <laughs> I don't know. Some people know this and some people don't. This isn't really personal, but um, I have three half-siblings. People get surprised when I say that, but yeah, I have like a 23-year-old sister. My brother is like eight, and then I have a three-year-old sister. Oh, I got two middle names. It's Reese Davis, so if y'all didn't know that, now you know. Well, something personal about me is I have seven siblings ranging from the ages of 41 to three. <laughs> and so I've got a lot of mixed ages that I have to interact with, which I think makes me great with a lot of people because I think I, I get experience in my daily life on how to deal with different ages. I play guitar. Uh, something that people don't know about me. Like go fishing, um, like to go fast. Something people don't know about me. Uh, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I already said it, I like to party, but I'd say I kind of like, I mean, I like science. I guess no one really knows that. I like science. I mean, that's something. I like science, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Senior year is off to a great start. Make sure you are following us on at chtv.network to keep up with our senior class as we get closer and closer to graduation. We're almost there. <laughs> it started going fast. You said you like going fast. That was great. <laughs> <laughs>